Hi, I'm Mimi Snyder. I am co-chairman of the Horticulture Judges, and I'm in the Horta Court at the Philadelphia Flower Show. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the judging process. There are three judging days. And in each of the uh, horticulture judges, they're on one of 10 panels. Every panel has three judges, three clerks, and a judging assistant. And each panel is assigned a certain number of classes. Some of them are specialty panels. They just judge bulbs, or they judge cactus and succulents, or ferns, or begonias. And then there are a couple of general panels that will judge all different kinds of horticulture. The judges on these panels are very experienced judges, but each one of the judging days, there are about three different panels that will have perspective judges. There'll be a panel of three and there'll be one perspective judge. And these are judges that are in training. You know, they are, they, it takes years and years to become a fully qualified judge. And it's tremendous experience to come judge in the Philadelphia Flower Show. The judges, when they get to a class, what they first do is pretty much go up and down the bench to look at all the plants to kind of get an overall feeling for what the class is like, the overall quality. But then they start to zero in to look for certain things. And really, what they're really looking for is the best possible plant, what they call cultural perfection, the one that's the most healthy, vibrant, it's at the best stage of maturity, if we bring out a blue, I, I, I mean, that's, that's pleasant. There's nothing distinctive about it. That's unusual to be growing that. You know. That's even balanced a little with the branch being yeah. out on that side. Yeah. You know, the judges are given um, paperwork, which um, something like this is called the Horticultural Scale of Points, and it goes on for pages. And each class that they're judging has a, has a different scale of points. They give a certain number of points to cultural perfection. If this happens to be a blooming class, a certain number of points to bloom or fruit, distinctiveness, difficulty, rarity. This is, becomes especially useful if the judges can't quite agree on which they consider the best plant in a class. The other thing to remember about um, the Philadelphia Flower Show is in each class there's only one blue awarded, but you can, can award multiple seconds, thirds, or honorable mentions. And this is not true of all shows, but some of the classes you know, have as many as 35 entries, and they're all very top quality plants. So in the Philadelphia Flower Show, you know, we like to give more than just a couple of ribbons. During the course of the judging, each panel has kind of figured out what they would propose as their best of day plan of all the things they have judged. And then at the end, the nine best of day judges get together and we all go around visiting these nine plants. And each judge whose panel chose a plant has to get up there and defend his or her plant. And then at the very end, you know, we all, they all, the nine judges vote. And sometimes it takes a couple of voting sequences, but at the end of that, they come out with what they consider the best of day plant out of the hundreds that were put in for this judging day. There's a best of day for the plant, which is just one variety. And then there's also a best of day award for entries that are two or more plants. The judges take their job really, really seriously. You know, they're coming from around the country to look at these, all these different plants. But it's not really a scary process. And you'll be surprised. Sometimes you'll have a plant that's on your windowsill that, believe it or not, will get the best of day. And in fact, what happened today, the plant for the two or more varieties, the best of day was from a student group. So please, everyone come and bring your plants. We would love to see them. Okay.